All right, let's start. Rotate your phone so you can be able to view this very well. Good day, everyone. My name is Promoted Sandra. So on today's video, we are going to be creating the pre-stock account. So we are going to be linking the pre-stock to our PMX section on Vipa. In order to do that, you're going to click on the PMX section. Once you're done doing that, there are a lot of options here. There are options like pre-stock and all that, Stripe. And so we are going to be using the pre-stock for that is what I use. Then you're going to click on pre-stock. As you can see, you're going to click on settings on pre-stock. Then once you're done doing that, you're going to see um, public code, private code. You're going to see your uh, web hook code. So in order to uh, integrate this to your uh, Vapor and your page talk together, you're going to copy the web hook. As you can see here, you're going to copy the web hook. You're going to go to your browser and open your page talk. You first of all, create your page talk account. Now, now I'm about to create mine. So you just click on uh, paystock.com and it's going to open create account. So right now I'm going to be creating a new account for the sake of this tutorial because I already have accounts before. So I'm going to be using my business name SNB culture for this. Then you can use your own business name. Then you put your country where you're from. Then your first name, your last name, your email address. You're just going to fill out those details. So let us do this together. Then you also put your number, your phone number. Then after that, you create your password. In creating your password, note this. If you want to create a password that will work for this, you have to create a password that starts with capital name. Then you add any other character. Just follow the instruction. Then add any other character, maybe ads or just stuff and add number. You can see the one I created now. So that is it. Click on if you are a, if you are a software builder, you click on software builder. If you are not, you click on stuff. The other option. Then they are going to send you email verification. They are going to send you verification your email. Go to your email and click. You can see my right now. Paste talk. I'm going to click on it and verify my account. Confirm email address. So they are going to give you option to log in. So you can log into your account. Then once you're done doing that, it's going to show you this platform, which is compliance. Now you're going to, you can see this SMB culture is there. And if you want to add more business account, you can add it. More business, if you are into more business, you can add more. But I'm not going to be adding more. I'm just going to continue with this. I'm, uh, you just click on your profile, add your trading name, your description of the description of your business, staff size. So you're just going to fill out everything here. So note that I might not be able to like show all the details on how to just follow the instructions. Just fill out the details. You can see above, you're going to see documents, account, profile. Just click once you are done with one, you click on the other one with your finger to, you know. Right now, I'm going to be filling out my email. When it comes to email, I'm going to say use general email, meaning the email that I used in registry before. Uh, dispute, use general email. So I'm going to put my number in here. If you have other sites, you can add it. Maybe Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. You can add it so i don't want to link anyone and in choosing industry i'm going to be put education when it comes to business you're going to put starter not register business but if you if your business is registered you can use register business so you have to provide all the details but me i'm starter my business is not registered yet so business types yes so as you do you click on i'm going to be clicking on owner right now for identification in here they are going to request your first name last name date of birth all manner of questions just make sure you answer it once you're done you go to your account you put your account details this place is very uh, the same probably i've passed that you just put your account details just fill out all the form now you can see that you're already on test mode all right the main reason why we are here is because we want to integrate our payment section together you're going to be clicking on the dot at your right hand side you click on preference you're going to see an image like a profile click on it you click on preference once you get to preference you're going to see i i can all the information like the notification you want to get you fill it click on 
uh, API keys and a webhook. So what we are going to be doing, we are going to be making use of those keys that you're seeing right now. Go back to your VP account and click on your permit session. Once you are done doing that, then click on a uh, pay stock. Then what we are going to be doing here is we are going to copy the webhook and we are going to go back to our pay, um, pay stock site and copy the public key and secret key. So let's do it. So now you can see the webhook. Copy the webhook. Then go back to your pay stock and paste it and also copy now you're going to copy the test secret key you can open it to see your secret key which i'm not supposed to open because it's a secret key so what you're going to be doing is come and paste it copy the public key you paste it then once you are done that is all they need to do you save it all right in order for you to check if this is working you're going to click uh, on the link close to the share button then when you click on it you are going to add a product to your cart and once you're done adding a product to your cart, you're going to proceed with the payment section after filling the form and all that to see if your VIPA is currently working. Note that your VIPA is on a test mode for now. So you can proceed with your payment. They're not going to debit you. You're going to put your account details and see how it work. Put your account details. They're not going to... So now, you can see the pay stock option, right? It just pump up. Now you can see pay on delivery. So you are going to proceed with your payment. That pay on delivery, if you want to edit it, go back to your pay stock, click on payment. Then you see pay later, click on uh, settings on pay later and change the pay later to pay on delivery. In case probably you are selling product that they need to pay on delivery and all that, or you want to add that option. So I'm um, done changing that. You go back to your shopping and continue adding your email. Put your address. I'm just going to fill in blah 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 for uh, after that. Put your number. You can decide to use number or place order through WhatsApp. So now you, you see, I just placed order of 4,500. I just bought something. So I got notification that and um, this is the order. This is the person's name, the email, the details that I just filled. This is it. I just got notify. Now you can see that the pay stock is already working, but know that it's on a test mode right now your payment is still on test mode as you can see or your pay stock so in order for your payment to be live pay stock have to verify your details your account details remember down to the address and all that so once it's verified they will send you an email that your account has been verified so always check your email if there is any error during the process of you fill the form they also go to notify you they also did the same thing to me so once your account has been activated it is going to change from test mode to live so that means anybody can pay in money to your account and it will be received and pay stock will not transfer the money from their account to your personal account you don't need to place order they will just send it directly so that is it for this so if there is anything you are passing through any challenges just let me know and i'll fix that